Yo, it's fine, play boys. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, man, we're gonna be installing a new fuel pump. Don't mind the box. I know the box is beat up. It didn't look like that before I got it. I did like try to open it. It had like a whole bunch of tape around it. So like me just trying to open it, the tape kind of just ripped off the, the you know the print of the box. So that's why the box looked like that. But it's a brand new uh Dash Works or Dash Works uh 65c fuel pump um the reason why i'm running this is because i do want to go e5 in the future and stock pump is not it'll, it can hold it but it's just not going to do what i needed to do so that's why i'm upgrading the fuel pump um yeah so should be a very simple install i always say it's going to be a simple install then it ends up not being a simple install so let's hope that today's really simple i watched a couple videos and i looked up the uh instruction guide and stuff and it seemed pretty easy and bro why why does camera keep trying me i'm not that dark so yeah if you guys want to go pick yourself up one this is the code for the box i think this is the code for the product actually i don't know why i said box so yeah man let's get it all right so the first thing you guys have to do is remove the seats i'm not gonna really show you guys too much on how to remove the seats because i did that on one of my latest videos so if you guys want to go check that out i'll put the link right here um yeah so i'm gonna remove the seats and then uh Everything should be, you know, accessible, ac acceptable. Ac everything should be there for me to, uh, to take out. All right, guys, so the back seats are removed. Next thing you want to do now is remove these uh, 12 bolts. So only two of them. So. should be a clip right here so you guys uh disconnect your battery while you're doing this because you don't want no like electrical things happening while you're dealing with gasoline because that's a uh, fire so yeah make sure you guys uh unplug your negative and make sure your car is completely dead before you start doing all these uh unbolting and unwiring so yeah uh next thing you have to do after you take out these uh two 12s is i think you just have to pop this off I think. Oh wait, I'm missing a bolt. Ah. All right. So yeah, took off. You gotta take out these four bolts. So one, two, three, four. And once you do that, that top piece, this top piece right here, that you know covers the the fuel cell. Well, not fuel cell. The fuel thingamajiggy is uh, it comes off. So next thing you do after that, if you get your screwdriver, you take off those four screws, lift this up. And then you should be able to uh, access underneath. Hopefully you guys don't strip these or mess them up. Because this is going to be a pain in the butt for you to take them off. I really... I, dang it, bro. I really... Yo, this is too much, bro. I'm really this black that you can't see me in here? Like, dang. But yeah, sometimes I really wish I had like a crew team. Or like a camera team. Because like recording and trying to do stuff at the same time is so annoying. It's not annoying, it's just a hassle, you know, what I'm trying to say. Because you have to record what you're doing, and while you're doing it with one hand. I just need a crew team, bro. One day. So I don't know if you guys seen it in the last clip. Um, once I got the screws out, I did have to pry this up because it's like not glued on, but like just been there for so long that it has its own like type of seal, I guess. So once you do pry this off, make sure you use something like a flathead, something that won't, you know, bend it. And uh, it's gonna be a little plug right there. I put a, I put an error on it. And uh, what you're gonna do is unplug that because it is connected to this whole thing right here. And then uh, you should be able to take out your fuel cell. I keep saying fuel cell. You should be able to take out your fuel pump after that. Well, a little bit more steps after that, you'll be able to take it out. Oh my gosh. It is so dirty on here. When you guys doing this, make sure you wear like a mask or something. Because I just had a full face of dirt just smack me in the nose. And oh my gosh, that did not, that did not smell good or feel good in my system. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little quick little rinse. Well, not rinse, but a quick little wipe down because I do not want any of this debris falling into the system. And there's a lot of it. So 
yeah i'm gonna make sure i get all that because this whole bunch of dirt and everything under here so yeah make sure you guys clean this up very well and then boom look how clean that is now you guys what i did i used my vacuum cleaner with a little brush attachment and i just pretty much just brushed and vacuumed at the same time pause and uh yeah bro got it pretty damn clean looks brand old oem new brand new oem new brand brand new spanking odm holly davidson no partner boy if you don't all right guys so what i'm gonna do now is remove both these lines one line is the fuel line the other one's the evap and they should both just be squeeze tabs and uh you just pull them off so it's nice when you have somebody to help you but i feel like i'm gonna be struggling so i'm gonna put the camera down and uh focus on doing this correctly because this is a very important part of the car so yeah the next morning all right day number two of the fuel pump install let's do it Bro, look how I left my car yesterday. This is ridiculous. Oh, I can't wait to put this thing in and get everything running because, oh my gosh, I hate seeing my car dirty. So you guys are probably wondering, like, why is it day number two? Well, it's day number two because yesterday I had trouble taking off the retaining clip for the fuel pump. So I just said screw it and I went to uh, O'Reilly's and I bought myself one. Uh, where is it? I brought myself the tool to remove it. Here we go. So it's one of these. <clears throat> if I had the uh, if I had the packaging, I'll show you guys like the name and stuff. But literally, if you just Google uh, fuel pump removal tool and put O'Reilly's, it will pop up. And this thing cost me twenty five dollars. Once I get this fuel pump in, this thing's going back to O'Reilly's. And just like that, you guys, boom! I got it out, man. This little tool right here, what the hell? Yeah, this little tool right here, bro, best tool in the world. Well most needed tool because it, it's annoying bro it's so annoying trying to take out that clip with just a screwdriver and a hammer oh my gosh i'm never doing that again just buy the tool and make it make your life easier but here's the pump and now we're gonna take these things off it should be really simple so let me mount up the tripod so i can really focus on this and you guys can see how to do it all right guys so for this part of you i'm doing a little quick voice what are you doing i'm doing a voiceover of the video you know i do no voiceover let me do it you sure you want to do the voiceover, babe? Let me do it. Let me do it. All right, I'm gonna let you do the voiceover. Hi guys. So the real boss is here. So what he's doing right now is taking off the wires from the clip holding them, and be careful because they can be a little brittle over time. So next, unplug the two plugs, and then those two springs holding the fuel pump in. You gotta remove the retainer clips. Do not lose them. I repeat, do not lose them. Strict instructions. Next, there are four clips holding the pump in place. There are squeeze and pull tabs. So, makes it a little bit easier for you. Now, you can take out the fuel pump and start to prepare your DW65 pump. So after a couple fights and a couple researches and just taking my time, I finally got the fuel pump out. The filter looks disgusting. I think this is what uh, 80,000 miles of gas look like. So yeah, man. Ugh. It don't look too bad, but it just looked disgusting to me. It's like something I wouldn't want in my car. But yep, I'm gonna leave the thread down below in case you guys wanna go look at it when you guys are uh, taking out your fuel pump. I don't really know how to do this, so that's why I didn't really wanna explain it. So just for your safety and my uh, reputation, so you guys won't say I'm trash, which probably some of y'all already do, but I will give y'all the finger, but I don't want to get demonetized. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the thread down below in case you guys want to go look at it. But yeah, got a few more steps and uh, be able to throw this bad boy in. Now you're going to use both O rings and make sure they are looped up. I bet you know about lube, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then you can put the filter provided on. Okay, now put your new fuel pump back inside its holder and click the clips and reinstall everything and you should be good to go. Good job. Period. I know what else to say. And boom, you guys, fuel pump is installed. It's time to just go plug it in and pray that it, you know, actually turns on and work. But Here's the stock fuel pump. I'm gonna keep this just in case if anything happens. Um, might as well put that clip back on it too. So, all right. So I already put back 
Bro, every time I get in the car, something moves. But yeah, oh, that would have been bad if that would have fell inside. Let me just keep keep that in my hand real quick. But yeah, this is supposed to be going back around the retaining clip. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna set up the fuel pump and all the stuff. Uh, put the black O-ring, it's an O-ring, black rubber band, O-ring, whatever this crap is called. Back on, which I think goes under here, like that. But I'm gonna place it on the thing first, around the seal. And then, uh, yeah, so. Man, I wish I had somebody to record for me. It is so hard. Whoa, I forgot I had this light on. It's so hard doing this. I should just open a trunk for like. But yeah, we're almost done, man. We're almost done. Let's get it. Alright guys, so fuel pumps in. This tool came in handy again with tightening it down. Um, I already plugged everything back, so we're gonna put back the negative terminal and uh, prime the car and see what it sounds like, see if it primes. Fingers are really, really crossed right now. I really hope it primes. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what it does. <sighs> well, well, here goes nothing. Let's listen for a prime. All right, I definitely heard that. That was really freaking loud. Now let's go check the fuel pressure gauge. 40%, 40 PSI. Uh, let me prime it one more time. Oh yeah, that thing is loud. Ooh, see what it reads now. Yep, yep, yep. See, it's looking good. It's looking good. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna uh, disconnect the the uh, the fuel line right there that connects to the injectors. Even though I already primed the car, I already have <laughs> basically fuel going to the injectors. Um, I'm gonna disconnect that and get a bucket, and whoever comes out that bucket is gonna go in the garbage. I feel so tired, you guys. So if I sound like I'm stuttering or just lack of breath and stuff like that. You guys don't understand how hard it is to work in this little, bro, it's black as hell. You guys don't understand how hard it is to work in this little tight spot and that stupid retaining clip. Ugh, never again, bro, never again. All right, you guys, here goes first startup. Nothing's leaking. Let's check anything leaking over here. Nope, nothing's leaking. Pressure looks good. Well, I think it looks good. Nothing leaking. All right. Here we go. Awesome, awesome. Woo! Let's get it, Dusty, let's get it. So, all right, guys, fuel pump is in. I'm just gonna let the car idle real quick and uh, get an operating temperature. And we're gonna go off for a little drive. And uh, hopefully, nothing wrong happens. Hopefully, it doesn't lose fuel pressure as I'm driving. And, uh, And uh, yeah, man, happy that the fuel pump's in. Sounds fine right now. Sounds great, actually. Um, all, all I can say is Dusty is going to be making some more power in the future, bro. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy because everything is falling in line. 
you know after you know you pray and you you wish for these things and you keep doing right to people you you know stuff is gonna happen right to you too so i'm happy everything is going along everything's working perfectly fine the channel's doing good and i'm really grateful for you guys too because you guys help me a lot not even like with like the channel just mentally and just my by my personality and stuff you guys help me with so appreciate appreciate everybody who watched these videos and uh subscribe to the channel y'all mean a lot to me and uh yeah man let's get it i forgot to end the video so i'm gonna do it here if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy instagram my underscore got the soda and your boys out peace